Hey everyone, how y'all doing? Thank you for tuning in to another video. We are back out here at the Palms Course at Rotunda Golf and Country Club in Rotunda West, Florida. Today's video is gonna be a pretty highly requested video after I did the eight iron only challenge. Today's video, we are doing the Roy McAvoy, the 10 cup challenge. Instead of the eight iron only, it is the seven iron only challenge cousin my opinion, the best golf movie there is, Tin Cup. His favorite club is a 7-iron. He goes on, plays the first round of qualifying for the U.S. Open with just a 7-iron on the back nine. Now listen, I don't think we're going to be qualifying for no U.S. Open with just a 7-iron. We couldn't even do that with all 14 clubs. But yes, there's the challenge today. Nine holes, playing the tips. Playing the tips. It's a pretty short nine. And yeah, let's get to it. You ain't know you're dealing with a monster. Let her go cause she a prima donna Sweating me like she be in a sauna Tryna bend her down in Tijuana Stat her money taller than the plaza Got a lot of drip with no water I'm on shotgun with no soda She know them problems coming with the Prada I just down more, so I'm up now Can't afford a drop, so she bust round Still in school, learning new things now Need to get a bag for the fam now all right, first hole today is a short par five. Well, short if we were able to use any other clubs besides just a seven iron, but it is a 480 yard par five. That way, dog leg right, let's get to it. All right. Ooh. That, I felt that one. Again, we didn't show up early, early to this tee time. No warm up. That was our very first swing. We ended up right here. Green is right beyond that bunch of trees straight ahead. We only have 250 yards left to a back pin, 280 yard hole. It's about a 230 drive with the seven iron. I'm telling you people, I am telling you. I played yesterday morning with my dad. Ball striking felt nice. Irons were going deep like I wouldn't be surprised if we hit a 235, 240 plus 7 iron today. Yeah, let, let, let's hope that happens, but we gotta focus on this shot. So maybe we can make a birdie here. Let's get to it. Toey, but. We, we did not catch all that 7-iron. We caught it a good amount off the toe. And I guess it's a good thing we did because I did not know there was water to the left of the screen. And look at where we ended up. Right there. One more yard and we're done. But look, at we ended up right here, right next to the green. 7-iron, seven 7-iron seven on a par 5, just short of pin high. Go. Go. Man. I thought we executed that shot perfectly. It just got caught up in the rough, I guess. Came out all right. You got a little bump and run to a pin right there. Drop it for birdie, you know, up and down for par. Good start to our day here. I'm taking it, I'll take it. I didn't even tell you guys though, these seven iron in my head has been regarded as my least favorite club in the bag, but it looks like that's changing today. Let's get to it. Okay, okay, I will take that. My man Roy would have been proud of the way I played that hole with just a seven iron. Just a seven iron, all right, all right, all right. It's a lot of all right, sir. I'm talking a lot, I'm rambling a lot. Let's get to it though. Second hole, par four. 414 yards, yards dead into the wind. And guys, what I was saying about disliking my seven iron, is like not even close, like it is so true. I probably haven't hit my seven iron or a seven iron in a couple years. I never take it out on the course. I never take it out on the range, but I like it. We just needed a break. We, we just needed our space, but yeah, let's get out of this hole. Par four, 414 yards. Let's get to it. Okay, that was struck very much so off the toe. That was not hit well. But anyways, it left us right here at 200 yards into the wind. 200 yards to a front pin. Where's it at? 
Am I blind? Oh, right there. <laughs> there it is. Oh, I hooked it. Tom. Yikes. <laughs> that ain't even close. So, so as you could tell by my reaction after that shot, you could, you could have guessed, you could have predicted that that ball was not going in the direction as to which I wanted it to by any means. And you're right if you guessed that. Ball's right here. Green and pin are way over there. Yeah, that was not a good shot. I've noticed like 50, per, not 50%, but a decent amount of the time when I make a contact and I really compress the ball, I have this big miss left. It's not a hook. It's a high draw that draws way too much misses left. But you know what? It's probably because of my grip, but I get to see more of the course this way. Let's get to it. Sit hard. Sit hard. I'll take that all day. Oh my goodness. You saw that? All right, all right, all right. I will take that. My man Roy is speaking to me today through that 7 iron. Like, it'd be, it'd be lit, you know, like Kevin Costner, if you're watching this. If you see this video, I love your work, bro. Tin cup, uh, feel the dreams, all of it. Dope. All right, let's get back to the golf here. We made a par there, even par through two. Par, par start. Onto the third hole. Par four. 440 yards. We got a little wind at our back. So we're, we're going to get steppy on this 7-iron. I want a 240 plus 7-iron here. Let's get to it. Alright, so we're living dangerous here. We just stayed in. Look at where we ended up. Thank God for this water or else it might have rolled out of bounds. But look, at this is where we ended up. You see it there, right there in that puddle of water? Just make sure I can see it on the back of the camera. But yeah, we are inside. I think we have like, looks like we got about 175, 180 left to the pin. And obviously, I believe by the rules of golf, this is casual water. So we're gonna take a drop, hit the shot. Pin is right behind that tuft of trees there. Oh no, it stayed out to the right. Sit. Uh-oh. All right, so I hit a all the way choke down. Kind of opened the face up a little seven iron. I think we had like 180 yards left right around there. Guess the yardage pretty well. We ended up right here. There's the pin up there. Up and down for par. <laughs> I chip better with this than I do my lob wedge. Okay, wasn't able to capitalize there and make par after getting really lucky off the tee after hitting a nice chip The putt just didn't break as much as I thought it would but hey one over through three seven iron only challenge onto the fourth hole another par four 388 yards. Let's get to it All right, so now we have reached that point in the round where I reluctantly am going to have to put a glove on because I'm feeling the club start to slip as soon as I start my downswing. But anyways, we found the fairway here. We have, I think I shot it, 170 yards to a back pin, dead into the wind, over that bunker, pop it up there. Hold on. Hold on. Find that left edge. All right. Man, I don't know what it is. Whenever I choke all the way down on a club and try and hit it with that short little sawed off swing, my miss is pretty much always left. But it's good to have one miss because then you know where your miss is. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. But we turned out all right. Right distance, right here. Up and down for par or we can knock it in for a birdie. Let's get to it. Sit, sit. I am telling you, the power of the bumping run people is unmatched, at least for my game, it is unmatched. 
walked away with a par there. That puts us at one over through four. And you know, when you finish the fourth hole, you go to the fifth hole. <laughs> That's what hole we're on now. On the fifth hole, we got a par three. 170 yards to a front pin, wind helping out the right. We're gonna have to, have to hit that same choke down, sawed off shot we hit last hole. Oh no. Oh no, please sit. <laughs> That's gonna be a tough one. Every time I hit that choked all the way down, sawed off swing, whatever club it is, we end up left, way left. Look at this, we ended up here. There's the pin. We're even about too far too, like 10 yards past pin high, but I was looking forward to this shot. Open it up, butter knife that seven iron under there, pop it out, see, see, see what happens. Let's get to it. Why couldn't you just do that the first time, Tom? You can't see it on camera because I'm not going to show you guys me standing over the ball. But I was standing over that first shot way too long. I was overthinking it, trying to be too perfect with it, and that happens. Second shot just got up, hit it, and we turned out pretty good. We got this putt right here for a bogey. Hit it, Tom. Whew! Walking away with a five on a par three, a double bogey there. You know what? It happens. It happens. It happens when you have all 14 clubs. It especially is going to happen when you only have one club. We're on to the next hole. We got a six hole par four, 324 yards. We got a little bit of a carry here, but it's going to be no problem with our seven iron. Yeah, that puts us at three over through five. So we're still doing better than bogey golf. I would love to get in under 40 like we did with the eight iron. Let's make that happen. Let's get to it. All right. That was the first ball I've hit like kind of really poorly today. And if you've been watching my other course vlogs, you know how bad my ball striking has been. So that's an improvement. It took us up until the sixth hole to hit a ball really bad. I will take that. But yeah, I wasn't really paying attention. This water was actually a 195 carry. So if I hit it really bad, I would have not gotten over. Now we have 100 yards into the pin. Uh, navigating that bunker is gonna be tough with the seven iron. I was aiming for that bunker, that, <laughs> that big bunker not that far ahead of us. And I just completely missed the whole bunker all right so the game plan there was let's hit a low screamer at this bunker and hope it scoots on through and pops up onto the green we missed the bunker bunker which is kind of pathetic but we didn't turn out that bad we ran right up the apron balls right there nice little chip up and down for a par sit sit all right I'm telling you, the bump and run is undefeated. If you're not the best wedge player, <laughs> like me, I'm not the best wedge player, bump and run. Can't go wrong with it. Very slight margin of air. Gets the ball on the ground quick, just like putting it. But yeah, we needed that par. Bouncing back with the par after making a double on that par three. Now we're on the hole seven, I believe. We got a 320 yard par four. Let's get to it. A little chunky, but that'll play. Not, not a bad turnout after that contact. We ended up here. We gotta go up there. We have a back pin, 120 yards to a back pin, but this shot's gonna be tough because we're gonna have to throw it in the air to get it over that water and get it to stop on the green from 120 yards. Yikes. We found the water with that one. That's tough. I should have known. I should have understood what was going to happen. Ball was sitting down. You're in the rough and wet grass. You open up that face. 
that means the hazel is leading to impact. It's just gonna grab it and slow the club face down so much when it's sitting down like that and you're leaning with the hazel. But hey, it happens. I made a dumb play. Now we're here. I think we probably got like 75, 80 yards left. Same pin over the water. <laughs> let's, let's try and make something happen. That's beautiful. Sick. That was so close to being so good. We flew just a little far right here. So we were hitting four from there. This is for a five. So make this for bogey, up and down for double bogey. Take our medicine, go on to the next hole. Let's get to it. Man. Another rough hole there, our second double bogey of the day. That puts us at five over through seven. But hey, we're on to a new hole now. We're on to, oh, now I got sweat in my eye. All right, here we go. On the hole eight, got a par three, dead into a pretty strong wind. 160 yards to a front pin up there. I really opened up the face on that sawed off, choke down, seven iron there. We didn't miss it left. We missed it right. We found the bunker, gotta plop it out to there and not go in the water on the other side. I'm excited for this though. We, got, we gotta get redemption on these bunkers. Let's get to it. I. I tried outsmarting the bunker there on that first one and kind of playing like a Texas wedge shot where you just put it through the bunker and let it run up, pop over the lip and release on the green. But the bunker got the best of me there. The lip was a little too big. Next one we played it normally. We're right here. Pin's right there. Gotta make this for a bogey. Yikes. That is, you don't bounce back from a double bogey by making another double bogey, you know? That's three double bogeys on the round today. I believe that puts us to seven over through eight. Now we're on to the ninth hole. We have a 520 yard par five. Let's make a birdie here, you know? That's gotta, gotta remain optimistic. Let's get to it. All right, I'll take it. We found the fairway there with that one. This hole's directly into the wind, but luckily it's a pretty big dog leg left. We found the left side of the fairway. Just gonna knock it over the top of those trees there and hopefully leave us like 70 yards in. Wow, okay. That did not go anywhere near the direction I had wanted or planned it to go. We ended up here in the middle of all this stuff. Got lucky we were able to find it though. Now I think we have like 110 yards left to a white pin right up there. Find it, all right. All right, so we just opened up the face and threw that thing up here. We actually had a pretty good shot. Came up right here, just a little short, just left of the green. This is for a birdie. After the past two double bogeys, this is a nice change of pace. Let's give this thing a run for, a run for its money. Try and make a birdie to end this video. Let's get to it. I thought we dropped that thing. Man, that chip was tracking the entire way. I thought we had it. I thought we dropped a birdie to end our day out. You know, end on a high note. A par, a par is ending on a high note in the seven iron only challenge. I will take it. We ended up shooting what? Three double bogeys, one bogey, seven over on a par 36. So we shot a 43, which is not bad. 
If I'm breaking 45 playing with only with only one club, I'll take it, but it's not the 39 like we shot with just the eight iron only. But yeah, I had a beautiful day out here today. Had a good time. Love making videos for you guys. I hope you guys are enjoying the videos. I appreciate all the love y'all have been showing on the videos. Thank you guys for watching. Much love. Peace.